Let's talk a little bit about chemistry on the farm. You have animal health chemistry, where you keep certain minerals and things for the cows for the use. Uh, you have chemicals that you're using with your machinery that you have to be aware of. You also have soil chemistry. So if your soil chemistry is off, then your plant production will be down and you will waste money on fertilizer and things like that. So periodically it's important to go in and test your soil. So today we'll be testing the soil using a soil probe. I'll run this into the ground to about that depth and pull a sample throughout the field. So I'll get a composite sample for a field. And then I'll send it off. As I fed this winter, I tried to do a modified bell uh, grazing type setup where every time I fed a bell, I would move it to different spots. So I get a little bit of organic material and then the cows do what cows do. They drop their manure and urine in those areas and hopefully start building soil health. So as I begin to test the soils, hopefully my organic uh, uh, percentage will increase due to doing this. This sample you can see the A horizon, your organic area right here. And now you're getting into the B horizon, the area that is not as productive. So you want it the higher the A horizon, the bigger the A horizon, the more fertile the soil is traditionally. So you want to build that organic layer, that A horizon. So I'll take several samples across this field, starting at the high, going to the more low area to get kind of a sample for the fields. Then I'll send this off uh, and have you test it to see what the field needs for chemicals for the curious animals. If you're doing anything out in the field, they're going to ease over there to see what's going on.